Hello everyone, I'm Seth with Exotic Motorsports and this is our 2012 Chevrolet Camaro ZL1. Apologize in advance for the wind noise, the weather's a little wild today. This car has just a little over 20,000 miles on it. There are a few imperfections, but not very many. A couple marks over here by the passenger side headlight. A few rock chips in the front, but really not very many, and the ones that do exist are very small. A couple of very tiny scratches just on the brow of the driver's side headlight. A few very, very small scratches uh, where the driver's side front fender meets the front bumper. Scratch right here, driver's side, just by the uh, nose of the car. Again, these are all very small imperfections. You absolutely won't notice them if you're standing more than six inches away from the car. Driver's side fender here. No issues there. Front driver's side wheel. Got a little bit of rash on there. Chip there. Overall, the wheel looks really good. There's no uh, wheel rash or anything like that, except for that little bit on the spoke, but that's not really wheel rash. Driver's side mirror. Looks really good, no issues with that. Driver's side door. Small chip there. No issues other than that. Driver's side rear quarter panel. So we got a small chip right there. A couple rock chips over uh, by this area, which is pretty common on these cars on the fifth gens. You like to collect rock chips there, but even on this car, it's really not that bad compared to most. Small rock chip right there, just above the body line. And that is it. Looking at the rear driver's side wheel. This one does have some rash there. That one came in contact with something. A little bit of paint chipping off there. And a little bit of paint chipping off there. It's not rash. There's no like marks or anything in the wheel itself. The paint is just chipping off. It doesn't look like over here where you could tell it came in contact with something. Still, even then, it doesn't really stand out. Moving to the rear bumper. No imperfections on the back end of this car. Looking at the passenger side rear quarter panel. Small chip there. Small imperfection there. And again, the same spot in the lower area of the rear quarter panel are some rock chips, but really uh, not very many and they're not very severe. Overall, I'd say, oh, and there is a, uh, a scratch right here as well. But overall, I'd say it's in really good condition. Just a few small imperfections, just to be expected. Passenger side door, got a scratch over here by the door handle. A couple rock chips just behind the mirror. Otherwise, the rest of the door is in great shape. Passenger side mirror. Fantastic shape. Looks awesome. 
front driver's si or I'm sorry, front passenger side fender. A few very, very small rock chips just up there in the front. I mean like tiny, tiny rock chips. And that is it. Front passenger side wheel. Couple imperfections down there. Other than that, it looks great. I meant to point out earlier the uh, carbon insert on this hood is just beautiful. It's not sun faded or anything. This is also in great condition. There's no chips on it. It really helps break up the red on the front. So let's go ahead and check out the interior. So here we have nice black leather with red contrast stitching. It does have Boston audio, one touch driver and passenger windows, power locks, power mirrors, power adjustable seats that are leather, Alcantara steering wheel, leather dash with red contrast stitching as well. Let's have a look at the driver's seat before I hop in. Z01 embroidered seats. Perfect condition. And for this having moderately aggressive bolstering in the seats, I will say it is pretty comfortable. And I'm not a small guy. 6'1, 210. I don't think I need to say that it has an aftermarket exhaust, but uh, it definitely does. And these seats are also heated. So we have sport and touring mode. We have analog gauges there, HVAC controls there, there's stereo. And cool thing about this car is that actually you'd think there, there's no, no spot for uh, reverse camera right go ahead and put it into reverse we have a reverse camera right there in the mirror so yeah that's pretty neat it does have reverse sensors as well so it'll beep at you when you get close to something all the uh, buttons on the interior are in great condition none of the markings are worn off Alcantara is kind of prone to wearing out but the steering wheel is in great shape Twilight sensing headlights. It's not push to start, it is turnkey, but that's okay. It does have a heads up display. Not sure if you're going to be able to see it in the video. Kind of can. That blue gauge right in front of you there. Really nice to have. Passenger seat. Perfect shape. Door cards. Perfect shape. Dash. Everything on the inside of this car. It's beautiful. It's hard to believe that this is eight years old. And we got a sunroof as well. Back seats here. Sorry with the sun coming in, it makes it kind of hard to see. But I assure you, these seats are flawless. So we'll pop the hood, but before I show you the engine bay, I'm definitely going to walk around back so you can hear it. It's got a big cam and it sounds mean. You, but I could listen to that all day. Here we have our supercharged LS V8 engine, Rotofab intake. It does have other work done to it for the full build sheet. You can check out this car listed online.
runs and drives very well. It's pretty reasonable street manners. Definitely puts the power down. This car handles phenomenally. It just feels great to drive, honestly. Sounds very healthy, very consistent idle, quick startups. This car is good to go. So that is our 2012 Chevrolet Camaro ZL1. If you have any further questions, please feel free to check out our sales listing online at www.exoticmotorsportsok.com. Thank you for watching.